Okay, we've got all the flowers painted. All we have to do now is the little basket that the chili peppers are in. And so what I'm using, I'm using my mixtures that are left over from the adobe wall and also from the beam over the gate. And I'm just going to put a bunch of color up here. And I'm darker, this side will be darker because it's in shadow. I'm going to work around that leaf of the hollyhock. And I've also saved my hollyhock color so that I can come back and bring those leaves back over the, the basket. Now I'm going to use a little bit of a resin crimson here. I'm going to put a little more red there to fill up that basket with chili peppers. So this is alizarin crimson. Ooh, that's really hot. This is alizarin crimson plus liquid. I see what happened. It picked up some of that green behind there and that muddied the color, but that's okay because this is going to be in shadow. You can see how that green's picking up. And I can just use a clean brush to lift that off. I just swish my brush out in the thinner, wipe it with tissue, and then I can just lift that color off. We're going to start over. We'll take that green out of there so that my red will show better. won't be quite so dulled. Okay, now here's my alizarin crimson plus the liquid. See how that's a little more pure now. But I want it dark. And then I'm going to come back with my brush that I'm cle I've cleaned out, wipe it with the tissue, and then I can just come and lift off some of that alizarin crimson to give some shape to one, give the feeling of another chili pepper in there. Alright, back to the basket. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on this side to just make it round back underneath those hollyhock leaves. Also the handle, I'm going to put this where it goes back behind the peppers. Make that a little bluer. Blues go back, warm colors come forward. So that blue makes that handle go back. As it comes forward, it will come into the light. I can just paint some of this color over that and I'm going to come back then and add a little more blue in there. That just cools that down so it falls back behind the peppers. There we go. And this side of the handle is going to be in shadow because the light's coming from the right. And the top of the handle is going to be lighter. It's picking up some of that color behind. I'm okay on that. that we can just come back over. I'm going to take a little bit of, this is mud, which is my ultramarine blue plus alizarin crimson. I'm just going to make a little lip here on that handle where it turns over. And this side, again, I'm just coming back, making that dark. We'll work on that a little bit more in a minute, but let me get the rest of the basket blocked in here. Now this starts to get a little bit in the light. Now these chilies I had washed in a couple of, in a previous session so they're dry. So if I get any paint on them I can just come back and, and wipe it off. It's going to cast a little shadow on that basket. And it's going to have a little stem, so that stem is going to cast a shadow up there. Now this other side of the basket is more in light. So this is, I'm going to use my lighter shades color. Now on that back edge where it turns, I'm just going to add a little blue as it goes back. Just to make that edge turn back. And then as it, the basket goes under, 
it'll be a little bit darker here. Again, I'll work carefully around my little pepper. You can see with this, even though this is a fairly large brush, with those square corners, I can turn it and just work into that fine area. Okay, first of all, I'm going to do these sides of the brush of the basket, and then we'll come back and do this area. So I just this is again my mud plus liquid, and I just make the these are the ribs of the basket. I love these baskets. I just think they are so fun, and they're fun to paint. And, Kind of indicate my ribs. And there. Now I'm coming back with a little lighter shade of my, you know, a little bit lighter than that, because this is going to. I just using this square brush. I make the other woven part of the the basket. This top is also. This is catching more light, particularly the top edge of that. It goes back then, it gets darker. There's a little bit of text, there's basket weaving there. Okay, now I'm using a little darker shade where it turns back under. And goes into shadow. What I'm going to do here now is take some of that blue, and this is ultramarine blue plus white, and I just bring a few little blues into there to make that round out. And I'm also going to add a little blue back in here. That just turns that around. So see how that gives the texture of the basket? I may have to come back and add a little more light on that light side, but we'll do that in a minute. I'm going to do this side. Go ahead and get my ribs in here. This kind of comes. Okay, those go like so they're gonna come. That's probably too much of an angle. There we go. Now these are light because that sunlight's really hitting on this side. They get a little darker as they go down. Again, this is where it's really handy having your colors saved because I could just pick up some of that adobe color up in my wall and I added a little, I added white into it then for this lightest part. Now I'm going to come back here with a little bit of that ultramarine blue plus white and just make that back edge a little bit cooler. I want that to go back. Not quite blue enough. And I'm just being very impressionistic with this because I just want to give the indication of this woven basket. This is going to come right in here. I'll come back and do a little work on those chilies, add some highlights to them. But okay, now my really light, I'm going to highlight the top edge of that. And this chili pepper that's sticking out of the basket is going to cast a little shadow there. So I just let that come down. And that one. Okay, now let's do this design in the basket. This is this side will be a little darker. Just what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the whole thing and come back in and then indicate those separations. This side is lighter.
I'm not painting it real light because I will come back and add some highlights. Okay, now taking my mud, start making the design in this. And this goes back up around. And then this side comes like so. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush and start indicating the design. And it overlaps these pieces. So we go this way. It's a kind of a crisscross pattern. And this one comes down. I can just brace my hand against the easel. Highlight that. And this one comes like so. Comes here, here. And there we've got our pattern. A little confusing to, it's almost an optical illusion here. They overlap each other. Now here's, this one comes over, and then that side comes around, around the back of this handle. these because the sun's hitting those and the light's hitting also on this side here. I don't want it just real, I'm not delineating it just perfectly because I want that to just be very impressionistic. Then the light is hits on the top of this handle, so it's going to have a highlight just where it turns. Helps turn that edge. Bring a little more light here. I need this to be a little finer. There we go. I'm going to add a little blue on that back where it turns around, where it goes back on the other side of that handle. Okay, now I'm taking some pure white and I'm going to highlight it right here. Get that the top of that curve is highlighted, just like the top of the handle. More highlight right in here. Not quite as bright because that's turning around. And there's our basket. This rib comes over here. I'm just going to do a little bit of a 
indentation there. Just highlight that, or darken that just a little bit. Then I'll come back and work the chili peppers. I really appreciate you following my YouTube videos. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel. You'll receive an email every time that I post a YouTube video. Also, visit my blog because I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others that I do. Always ask, oh, the blog address is on the final frame of the YouTube video. It's also in the description below. And please feel free to ask questions. I'm always happy to, happy to answer them. My tongue is not cooperating. But uh, feel free to ask questions. And one of my main goals with doing the blog and the videos is to help other artists. So you have a wonderful day and happy, happy painting.